Hi, I'm Pat Fenner uh, from Breakthrough Homeschooling and welcome to this video where I'm sharing with you my family's experiences with CTC Math. We've been through um, quite a few math programs over the years, both online and in textbook form, but CTC was the one we've settled on uh, for the last few years of homeschooling. And let's take a look at it and you'll see why. As you can see, CTC's scope covers elementary through high school uh, topics. And although we didn't discover it till our kids were in middle school, so this uh, the scope of this video will be just with uh, you know the upper grades. My youngest daughter worked from sixth grade through elementary geometry, and two of my older sons did algebra one and geometry at the high school level. I wouldn't call any of them like super strong in math, so if you're worried that you know, your, your um, teen needs to be really good at math, like that really isn't an issue with CTC. Um, although kiddo number four did great going into college algebra and even tutored statistics the second year of his dual enrollment. So that's while he was still in high school. So, you know, really prepared them well, uh, prepared him well for, you know, for upper level maths. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'll be jumping around on my daughter's account using pages that best dis display what I'll be describing. So don't really look for <laughs> anything consistent in terms of what you're going to see um, on the screen. The last section that she's uh, completed is the elementary geometry section. And this is what her account looks like when she opens it up to pick up her studies. The diagnostic tests uh, on the top, if you look at the top tab, are great tools to use in a few situations. Um, when you're first starting out with the program, you might want to uh, use it to just to see where you want to start, you know, where you want to start your student out. You can also use it to catch where a student might be struggling um, because they have them for each section. Uh, if again, if you're you know just starting it out, you can also use them to see how far you might want to jump ahead if your student is bored <laughs> and uh, then they may have picked up math in, in other uh, you know with other programs or other times and there's no need to um, bore them when they can be moving ahead. There's different levels too of the diagnostic tests as you can see short standard comprehensive so it really allows for quite a bit of flexibility in terms oh I'm sorry in terms of um, you know in terms of what you want to what you'll see uh, the ribbon on the right of your screen gives your student an idea of how he or she is doing up to this point. Uh, they have bronze, silver, gold, and platinum, which is motivating to some students to know that, you know, that they're doing really well. You can even print out cert certificates at the end of each section. They have certificates with those ribbons um, that you can print out for your, for your student if that it would be helpful. Okay, so this is kind of an anatomy of a lesson. When you first start a lesson, your student will watch a short video, which you'll see it, step one, narrated by the teacher, Pat Murray, who has a lovely Australian accent that we really all enjoyed. I enjoyed listening to it even when they were doing their math lessons um, in the background. Each lesson has a PDF, if you go over to step two, has a PDF of the material which you can download and print out if you want your student to put together a notebook of sorts. Um, you know, some people like to have a, a hard copy thing. The lesson summary over in step three there is the same PDF, but it's in a format that opens up on the screen so the student can see it while he's working on the lesson. And then after the video and any, you know, review necessary of the PDF, he'll move on to the questions, which uh, questions tab, which is number four on this screen. And when you open that, this is what this is what you'll see. The questions aren't timed, and after he's through with them, we'll get a score, which will go towards those lovely certificates that we uh, that I referred to earlier. As they complete the review questions, they'll begin to compile a summary of scores, which you can access from the results tab on the top of the screen that you'll see here. As you might be able to tell from the column headings, your student will get multiple attempts to master the material. So the goal here, even though they have the, the um, medals and the, the ribbons, the goal here isn't really to get the highest grade, but to actually master the material before they move on. Um, and if you're a mama who likes to have paper records like I have been 
known to. Um, be assured that all reports are able to be downloaded and printed out in PDF form. So you can do summary, the summaries um, or detailed reports. Any of the any of the results are able to be downloaded. In the last screen, now we saw reports that were lesson specific. But here is also a summary report, summary report available, which gives a bigger picture. And as you can see, we didn't really utilize the diagnostic tests um, there on the right column of the the, uh, the white section there. We didn't really utilize them because we were just going straight through the curriculum. But if you decided to try CTC after using another program, you might want to have have your student take some of the tests to see which is you know where it's best to start. Here's a record of the report, uh, awards too, so you can see in what sections they're excelling. It's a cumulative record, so you can see progress over time, and you can see we've been using CTC uh, in this instance here. I think the earliest award uh, is October of 2015, so we've been using it for, for some time. Okay, moving on to the history tab up top. Quick finish is helpful to your student because it tells her where to pick up since her last session, so there's no need to repeat work unnecessarily. And timeline is the other one option, and that's helpful for Mama because you can see everything here. I mean, look, there's times, there's times on the right and dates in actual timeline form. On the left, you can see when they logged in, when they viewed a lesson, when they attempted a lesson, completed a task. You can see that list up there on the top. I, I opened it up for you. Uh, you may and you may have an idea what uh, you may have an idea of just what a blessing this feature feature alone is for a busy mom. It actually allows you to stay totally in the loop with your with your student studies and their progress, and it's just it's really super helpful. The cherry on top is that all of that information, uh, or at least most of it, gets compiled and sent to your email every Monday morning in a report that looks similar to this. Although they've had a recent upgrade, so uh, recent ones may look a little different. I haven't started it up yet again. But this report gives you a daily summary of work attempted for the previous week, uh, work completed, and the measure of success, the grades that they did. If you have multiple students, you're going to get a report like this, an individual report like this for each student. Okay, now just to jump back for a moment to that list of items in a timeline format, did you catch that completed game item? I've got that little arrow pointed there. Well, that's a fun one because we all know that all work and no play makes for a dull program, right? So on the bottom of pretty much each page, you'll see three little links, uh, and there, I have them uh, boxed there. Speed skills, times tables, and swap pieces. And that's the fun part to CTC. Uh, speed skills is incrementally more difficult, starting with only basic skills, you know, addition, subtraction, and graduating to the skills as you move up to the levels shown here. The emphasis here is on accuracy and speed. Um, the times tables shoot them up. None of my kids really ever used. Um, it's a, I think it's a space themed times tables review, but you can um, look into that. This one, my daughter said this game was her favorite. Swap the pieces, and I I tried it quite a number of times, and I, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I tried it. I think I got it once, maybe twice. But the emphasis here is on critical thinking, and you're supposed to after you have completed it be able to explain what you did well mama you can see why I'm using an online math program because that's not exactly my forte <laughs> and then finally jumping back to the settings tab the settings tab is kind of cool it allows your student to make the program his or her own you can she can she can create custom color backgrounds and fonts the one I'm using here for this video um, was you know it's my daughter's um, if you notice here, follow that arrow there, the parent is able to determine what grade your student needs to pass. So you can make it as low or high, you know, the bar as low or high as you want to. But while they're playing around with formatting here, they just get that subtle reminder of <laughs> what they need to do. Okay, so the benefits of CTC. We found that it's a wonderful program for independent learners, but at the same time, it's also good for teaching students to be more independent. One of my um, other kiddos needed a little more help in uh, not only planning 
their um, time, time management, um, you know, but keeping up with lessons. And this program I found was both for, you know, was good for both, uh, both aspects. It also provides adequate preparation for standardized tests, even for those not strong in math. A highlight feature for me is that it also fits into the Homeschool Buyer Co-op's Lesson Planet Planner, um, which is a, a wonderful th a wonderful tool that you can um, try out for free. Uh, they have a free trial on their website. And um, the other one, which I referred to earlier, which I also loved, was it keeps track of progress and records for busy moms. You can, at the end of the semester or school year, whenever you want, you can print out a summary um, of all those you know all the lessons or the, the material the span that they've covered and have something great if you have to do a portfolio if you have to you know do a report for your school district you know depending on what you're reporting your records are or if you just want to have it for yourself and uh, it lets your student go through a limited amount of lessons to try it out before per before purchase so you can go in there right now and um, I'll put the link below this video and access a free trial uh, Periodically, they have discounts from time to time. Uh, it's just, you know, they make it very uh, easy to get to try it out to get involved, which is which I find is a blessing because you can't always do that with with uh, per, with products. So, if you want to learn more about CTC, this is their CTC. This is their social or their uh, social media sites, and you can uh, you know check them out here. They also, um, as I said before, I'll also put a link below that you can. Um, reach them at to their their website I should have put that on the slide and just didn't didn't think of that at the time so I'll put that below this video and of course if you have any questions I am sold on the on the program myself so please feel free to either post them below this uh, if you're watching this on my blog you can post them in the comments or if you're watching this on YouTube go ahead and post them on the below the comments here too and I will answer them so I hope you've uh, enjoyed rather this kind of tour walking through the CTC math program. Um, I, I just highly recommend it. I find it's a very flexible program and it really is good for different learning, not only different learning styles, but um, busy moms and um, different needs that your student might have. So thanks for joining, uh, watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.